up in the morning to you, Diesel. How you doing? Morning. 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 You annoyed yet? Get that thing out of my face. Morning. I'm in a weird mood this morning. It's a good mood though. We're in Beaver Dam, Ohio. This is where we went to sleep yesterday, right in the same spot right here. So now we're gonna get back on the road. As we're headed to Canada, we're three hours from the border. We're crossing at Sarnia, Ontario. Welcome to Sarnia. I have to say that every time I cross there, I don't know. <laughs> uh, and then from there, we're going up to Guelph, Ontario, switching trailers, and then we're headed home through Northern Ontario. So the scenery will be great the next couple of days. I'm looking forward to it, but right now, we need to get on the road right now. gonna go in but apparently the building is closed Michigan why is your rest area closed I was going to use it oh well maybe they're uh, renovating it doesn't look like it hey did you notice I shaved yesterday nice I like it so yeah, this is the rest area here. A uh, couple of trucks there you saw as I pulled in. Diesel, I need to wash your nose art off my window again. Good job, buddy. 
Good job. Such a good boy. You're a little artist, man. So yeah, so I was gonna go in there, but since we're not going to, why don't we go look in the comments section on the video that was released today. I'm curious to see what you guys had to say about it. Oh, uh, let's see which one it was. Are you guys being nice today? Hmm? What am I gonna find? Oh, 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 no, drop my phone. <laughs> Just gotta hold on to my phone first. Okay, let's see. Let's see, okay, the one that was released today, fetching a load. It was released a little late, sorry guys. Uh, b -b 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 MLD 133. Okay, let's go through the comment section here. Let's see what you guys had to say. Ian Sin. Is that your whole name? It's a really short name. That's cool. Mine's really long. Uh, let's see what you have to say here. Hey, Josh, thank you for giving us another great video to view and for going through all the hassle of uploading them to a new laptop after your old one had a brain fart. I know I speak for many when I say we appreciate all the time and money you invest into sharing your life with us daily. Keep up the great work. Thank you. Comments like that make me feel good. They make me feel like making another video. There's some comments that don't give me that same feeling. But thank you for the ones that do. TT or T Thomas 939. One time my family and I were on the highway and three truckers caused so much tragic. I think that was autocorrect. So much trouble because they were going 30 mile per hour blocking all the lanes. Once we managed to get by, they were laughing and flipped us off. When we were ahead, the road was very clear. They were probably just trying to have some fun. I personally thought it was pretty funny. My comments on that. Okay, well, if those drivers were doing that just for fun, first off, that's very rude and unprofessional of those drivers. Uh, however, in construction zones, sometimes when there's a lane ending ahead, truckers will sometimes do traffic control. I'm not saying I do this, but I know that it's been done, uh, that it's on a regular basis. Uh, when the, let's say the left lane is closing and everybody has to get into the right lane, but you know everybody in the four wheelers and some truckers, they all go right to the end and then try to cut in in front of the line, right? And they try to cut in the line. And then everybody who is waiting in the correct lane has to wait even longer because all these impatient people are trying to cut out of traffic and then cut back in at the front of the line, right? So sometimes what truckers do, will they will drive side by side to keep the flow of traffic at a steady pace instead of one lane quickly ripping and slowing down the other lane because then the right lane doesn't move at all and the left lane, everyone's cutting in front, right? And nobody goes anywhere except for the cheaters. So to prevent the cheaters, I've seen some truckers before do what they would call traffic control and keep everybody at a steady pace. That way everybody moves at the same pace and everybody keeps going. Usually that only happens when there's been signs for like three or four or five miles telling people, hey, just so you know, left lane is ending. You should probably get over to the right lane. And then you know about a mile away from the construction, there's signs saying, merge now, merge now. Shortly followed by signs that say, no passing, no passing, get in the right lane. And yet there's still those people trying to cut into the front of the line right at the cones. You know, it happens everywhere. It's very frustrating. And like I said, I, I, I'm not saying that I participate in this traffic control stuff, but I've seen it done and that might be what they were doing. I actually kind of appreciate it when other drivers do that for me because then, like I said, five miles ago, I got into the right lane because I knew that the left lane was ending. Why should I have to wait an extra 30 minutes because everybody's impatient trying to cut us off and slow us down, right? Am I making sense? I've seen it done before. That might be what they were doing. But if you see two trucks doing that before a construction zone, that's what they're doing. They're just fed up with everybody cutting in front and they want everybody to move at the same pace. So then two trucks will drive side by side up to the cones and then the, the one truck will slow down, let the other truck in front and then they continue going, right? I've seen that done. I don't have a problem with people doing that if they do it correctly, but just doing it for fun like that, no, I do not approve. That is not very nice to block traffic. That is actually a crime. It is called, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, what is it called? The flow of traffic. Stopping the flow of traffic or getting in the way of the flow of traffic, interrupting the flow of traffic for no reason. Anyways, next comment. Boss Cobra. Josh, I am from Spain and I love your vlogs. Thank you. I hope you will bring us videos every day. P.S. I think it's supposed to say P.S. Diesel is the boss. Hear that, Diesel? You're the boss all the way out in Spain. 
That's awesome. Spain. I want to come visit you in Spain. That sounded creepy, didn't it? I want to visit your country. Beautiful country from what I hear and from what I see online. One day. All right, come on, bud. Oh boy. Like a boss. Like a boss. Hey, Diesel, where do you want to go? I don't want to go everywhere, man. I just want to run for hours and hours. There's some really nice oversized loads here. Look at this guy over here. Nice. Some more oversized loads parked over there. They got no trucks on them, though. No. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, this is the building. Oh, Diesel, you can't pee here. That's rude. I just want to show everybody the building. Very, very nice. So we're right close to Port Huron, Michigan. Building close. See, I wasn't lying. Sorry, no water. Take next exit to BP gas station. Free advertising for BP. Nice. If you need to use the restroom, bad English, bad English. If you need to use the bathroom, bad, take the next exit gas station. Well, isn't that what that just said? Two free advertisements. <laughs> look at this, look at this. Can you read that through there? American coins only. Canadian coins will jam the machine. <laughs> Those dang Canadians and their Canadian money jamming all the machines down here. <laughs> oh boy. I've never had them jam the machine before. They just slip right through. I don't know how they do that. They're like the same thing. How do they know the difference? How does the machine know the difference? How come we can't cheat? <laughs> right, Diesel? Oh well. In Canada? The Canadian machines accept Canadian money and American money. So I don't know how they do it down here that it only accepts American. Like, it doesn't matter where you are in Canada, everyone accepts American money. It's, all the machines take American coins, all the stores will take American money. It's like at par, right, with the Canadian dollar. Uh, that's what they accept it as. So you lose a little bit of money using American, but they'll accept it. But as soon as you cross over the border, they don't even want to see our monopoly money. Like, I don't understand. You just go to the bank and uh, change it or deposit it as Canadian money into the bank as you would your regular money. That's what we do. I mean, we just go to the bank. We're depositing our money anyway, so you just got to tell the bank then, hey, there's some different currency in here and they'll take care of it. They do all the work, but whatever. Doesn't matter to me. Look at this big grass area, Diesel. Oh, you know what this means. You know what this means, man. You ready? You're gonna be good. There's a fence back there, so. Get her, go, 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 go. Good boy. Straight for the first biggest tree. That is a good choice, Diesel. I would've picked the same one. Actually, there's a bigger one over there. I would've picked that one. You can have that one. I don't want it. I don't want the bigger one. I'm gonna go mark the bigger one right now. Go get him, Diesel. Get him, get him, get him, get him. No, that big one is mine. Stay out of the wet stuff. Thank you. We're making our way over to the big ginormous tree right there. That one's mine. I'm gonna put my mark on it. Oh man, this one's mine. Get away from me. Get, get away from my tree, man. This is my tree. This is my tree. Hey, 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 hey. My tree, my tree. This is my tree. Mine. I will defend what is mine. All right, now time to mark it. You guys ready? Here we go. How'd you think I was gonna mark it? It's my tree. My tree, man. My tree. You got all the other trees. This is my tree, man. This is my tree. I'm very territorial. My tree. It's the biggest one here. Don't mean to brag or anything, but I got the biggest one in the park. 
I would love to climb this thing. Look at that. If there was just a few more limbs down here, maybe get a ladder, climb up onto there. That would be cool. All right, Diesel. We both marked our trees. It's time to go. I just turned around and realized my tree is kind of lopsided. All right, well, it's time to go. Welcome to Sarnia. We're in Sarnia, Ontario. You heard that right, Sarnia. So now we're back in Canada, let's give her diesel. Everything's back in metric, let's not forget that. We never really do. For two hours from where we're gonna switch trailers. 73,000 people in this area. So the sign just said. Let's go. to be home.